this presentation of the Visi PEPS wire. This is the first view of the PEPS wire integrated within the Visi environment. As you can see, we have a model already uh, created in Visi as a solid, which we can display as a shaded image. We've also determined a piece of stock material, which is the uh, limits of the actual part that we're going to wire the profiles from. We can turn the uh, stock on and off or make it translucent as we wish. We also have uh, the piece for the wiring, uh, which has all the relevant 2D and 4-axis pockets embedded inside the solid. We also have obstacles, which enable us to avoid collisions with the uh, wire uh, nozzles uh, when we come to do the kinematic simulation. So let's go and add the feature recognition or run recognition uh, on the actual wiring component. This enables us to create all of the 2D elements necessary for wiring or indeed if you have four axis components it will also identify those automatically. Okay, as you can see now in our setup uh, we have relevant pockets uh, both in two axis and four axis as well as holes which have been identified and grouped into various sizes. What we're going to do now is highlight these pockets and holes and add an operation to do the wiring. As we're in the Visi environment and uh, we also have the ability to do 2D profiling in the milling format as well as wiring, uh, it's automatically put us into the relevant menus. We will click on the wire operations and accept. We're now into the environment where we're looking at the different types of machines available. We're going to choose an AGI machine, which not only loads the post-processor, it also loads the kinematic for us for the, that particular machine. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, particular machine in, uh, in the operation here and determine the exact type we're going to be using. But first, we're going to add in the material so whether we're going to add in uh, cold, uh, cold dye steel and uh, then this then sets up the technology for the offsets and the power generation. We're going to set the specific type of AGI machine now and we're just going to choose the AGI HSS and accept. On to the properties now of the operation and from this we can then see the uh, familiar user interface that most PEPS users will already be aware of. Uh, we can generate a, uh, a destructive cut with spiral milling or we can actually just do the standard profiling. Moving on to the technology and uh, by going into the dialogue here to look at the technology names uh, which are familiar for PEPS users to enable you to do double cut and triple cut for both roughing and finishing. By choosing one of these options and then clicking OK. This will then incorporate that technology for both offsets and power settings into the environment we're uh, using for wiring. Let's now move on to tagging. In the tagging environment we can actually go in and, and specify a tag distance or we can actually do day or night cuts by specifying the different uh, uh, ap operations that we actually require. Moving on to the approach, we can either use those as arcs or straight line motion. In this case, we're going to stick with the, the straight line motion. We're now going to uh, either automatically thread the wire into a given position, or we could actually search for uh, holes of a certain size and, and position, which we can predetermine over the part. We're now going to set the upper nozzle height, which we're going to put at 50 millimeters, uh, which will actually be 50 millimeters above the top of the material avoiding clamps. This then calculates the the tool path or the wiring program for us automatically on all selected profiles. Okay, Let's now go and have a look at uh, some of these profiles to show the uh, the multiple cut technology and you can see the offsetting there of the different wiring offsets. What we're going to do now is to actually go into uh, a solid simulation.
Okay, now we're into the solid simulation. Uh, we're now going to replay the, the wiring program. You will see each slug being removed in turn, whereby we can then move on to the next stage. Or indeed, we can actually zoom in and actually see the slug being physically removed with the separation command. You'll see that we have two green ticks here to say that we can either extract this both vertically and also from the underside. Should this have been a four axis uh, uh, component, uh, we would actually only be able to extract this from one direction or the other. Or indeed, if there was a trap situation, this will also be indicated uh, within the solid simulation. We'll now continue to replay the rest of the wiring operations, showing the, the true PEPS wire uh, being integrated and running under the PEPS wire um, interface. As you can see on the dialogues here, uh, the Agile control registers showing the offset values in the little dialog, showing the offsetting for each cut. Let's now go and have a look at the post-processing. By selecting the uh, post-processor options under the project, this will then go and process all of the wiring that we've done to date. We can now see the NC data displayed in the Notepad editor, which you can review prior to downloading to the machine. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration of the Visi PepsWire.